Maddie here with Golden Valley Park and Rec bringing you this week's home rec activity. We are going to be learning how to wrap a present. Um, super nice during these times when you're feeling a little isolated or you're not seeing all the people that you normally do. It's a nice little way to let them know you are thinking about them or that you miss them. Um, super easy to just drop off at their doorstep. So lots of different ways you can do this. Of course, there's always a gift bag, but if you're looking for a new skill, wrapping a present is actually pretty easy. So what you're gonna need is whatever you're gonna wrap up. I am in fact wrapping up some go-go squeezes. You're gonna need scissors, tape, and then whatever you're gonna use for wrapping paper. So of course, there's always that traditional wrapping paper you can find at stores. Otherwise, you can use newspaper. Nice thing about newspaper is there's plenty of it and um, you can kind of pick what section fits whoever you're giving the gift to. So as you probably saw, I'm using the comic section because the person I'm giving this to is pretty funny. So once you have that, what you're gonna do is you are going to take your gift and you're going to set it down pretty close to the middle. Cause what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna flip it and you want that side to be a about in the middle of where your gift is. So I do that, I'm gonna crease it as much as I can, and then you're gonna do it to the other side. Now as you're gonna see, this is too big. See how it wraps too many times there? So what you might need to do is use your scissors to trim it. Basically what you're gonna need it to do is to be able to cover this other side. So I'm gonna cut it about right here. Another nice thing about the newspaper is that you can use lines that are on it to make sure that you get that nice straight cut. I'm cutting apparently right through the TV schedule, so that helps a lot. Okay, once I have that, this can be recycled. Don't need that anymore. But I'm gonna do exactly what I just said. So this one, of course, came undone. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna take that other side and bring it there. I want it to be as nice and straight as possible. Make sure all that extra air gets out, and then I'm going to tape it right down the middle. I'm gonna use two just to make sure that I secure it right. Just like that. From there, as you can see, we have the edges left. Now the edges are the, probably the trickiest part. So, and mine is a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim it. And you'll see why here in a minute. So again, I'm just trimming the edges. I don't really have a good guiding line here, so I might get a little uneven, but that's okay. Can always go back to that top section and cut from there as well. Okay, so I'm down to here. What you're gonna do first is you're going to take this top section and bring it down. Once it's even, you can crease it just like I did there. I know it pops up a little bit, but then you're gonna take the sides, let me move this, and you're gonna bring them in just like that and then crease it and do the same thing over here. It's like you pinch it towards the middle and then crease it. From there, you're just gonna bring that bottom part up and that's where you tape it. So you can kind of see like that. I'll show you again on the other side too in case I went too fast there. Just gotta tape that there so that's good to go. Okay, now same thing here. When I put this section down, it's too big. So I'm going to trim this side as well. And what I was talking about the trick is when you start to cut here, you'll kind of have a nice little, I'll show you. It'll basically show you where you need to cut the other section from. So I'm gonna cut here. Just making sure it's a little bit smaller to work with. And as I was saying, now you can kind of see where the line is for the other section. So you can just start cutting from there. 
and then you have nice even all around. So same thing. I'm gonna take it here. I'm gonna fold this top section down and crease it. Once I have that, I'm gonna take the corner and I am going to fold it in. It's a little tricky to show here, but I'm gonna just show you. You're basically folding it, oops, to the middle. Let me fix that. And we'll go here. So you got them folded in, and then it's just a tuck up and over like that. So, then you're gonna tape it there to keep it in place, just like you did on the other side. I'm gonna use a little extra on this side because I did tear it a bit. But from there, you have your wrapped present in whatever paper you want. You can always add a bow, you can write a little message. There's lots of different things that you can personalize it with. Um, so just make it your own and really think about that person that you're giving it to. What do they like? What would make their day? Maybe they have a favorite color and you color some of it in. Totally up to you. But that is how you wrap a present. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week.